Hi, this is Chrissy from the Tiny Bookcase. Welcome. Today I'm doing my wrap-up video for my reading for the month of June 2021. Um, I did a bit better than May this month, um, but <laughs> just slightly. Um, I got past the two books and I actually read three. It's been a bit of a hectic um, time to read this month. Um, my daughter has just recently finished school so there's more things going on in the household and um, I'm in the process of trying to get her into um, another school so um, that's been taking a lot of time so I haven't had that much time for reading unfortunately but I am very happy with the books that I read this month um, I read three one was a YA one is a middle grade and then um, uh, the one is adult <laughs> book so um let's just start off with the ya um it's a new genre i don't usually read ya um i've seen of several youtubers um and booktube talking about ya and they read it quite frequently so this is my first journey into ya it was quite fun i uh was recommended this book by another a youtuber and i will put her information somewhere up here so you can see the video um there was a couple of other books i think that she mentioned in her video that i i'm also looking um into maybe possibly um uh, starting to read as well but um the book i want to talk about today is i'll be the one by lila lee and this book is about sky and sky is um going to enter this kind of k-pop um competition it's um to be an, a k-pop star i believe and there's two ways to enter you can enter dancing and you can enter singing and she wants or you can do both and that's what she's doing she's trying out for both and um the thing about this book is there is there is some serious undertones in this book or I shouldn't say undertones there are some serious subjects in this book and um a lot of it has to do with body shaming and um bullying and teasing and um I really feel that as much as these topics were introduced into this book it was quite an uplifting book up the uplifting book and I did enjoy reading it I felt very sad for Skye and what she had to go through and um, fortunately one of her harshest critics was a family member so without spoiling I don't want to spoil it um just in case a lot of you haven't read it and are curious to read it um it was a, a great book I enjoyed it um, a lot I learned a lot about um k-pop and um uh, well I got introduced to k-pop and actually watched a k-pop video I might Put that up there on the screen i thought it was pretty cool so it was a really good book i i really enjoyed K uh, sky's character she was amazing her, her character i loved it even though she was being teared down and um she fought for herself she stood up for herself and um i really appreciated that because you know being a big girl myself it is hard when you have people tearing you down and just don't find the strength and confidence to do well so um i really applaud the author lila lee i really like this book and i might i'm probably going to check out some more uh books by her but i definitely recommend it and i believe i gave it a five stars on goodreads um so that was uh a really good read for me uh the next book i want to talk about is the magician's nephew by c.s lewis I'm going right into a classic. So um, this is, I believe, a middle grade. I am not sure, and I will correct that um, in the description down below if I am wrong. But um, this is a reread for me. I really wanted to uh, reread some books that um, I haven't read in a long time, and um, this was one of them. So um, I really enjoyed reading it. I knew that um, it's my favorite of the series. It is the beginning of the the first book in the Chronicles of Narnia series by C.S. Lewis. It is one of my favorite books of all time. 
and and that is saying a lot and i know that people might put a lot of emphasis on that because of it i just enjoy this book um and this time i actually read um and listened to the audio i think it was more more one-sided I, I listened more to the audio this time around but um it was great i loved the um the author um not the author <laughs> the narrator and um it was it was um uh, the way i expected these characters to sound the way i had imagined them always in my head is exactly what i heard so i really enjoyed that part but this um book begins with um the with jiggery and his friend i believe her name's polly please forgive me <laughs> if i am wrong about her name because um i tend to forget things um and unfortunately that is something that happens in my life a lot so diggory and polly are sent uh into this realm um in between worlds and they discover that there are different worlds and they can enter these pools that are different worlds and in order to get away from the evil queen who they meet in one of these worlds they jump into narnia at its creation so we get to hear uh narnia being created it is a very beautiful um be beginning of learning how narnia was created and um i just really love this story so if you have never read the um magician's nephew and you only know of the lion the lion the witch and the wardrobe i would definitely recommend you reading it because um i think you will enjoy um and appreciate the lion the witch and the wardrobe a lot more after reading this book so that of course was a good read for me and um i think that it's five stars on my goodreads um so that brings me to the last book that I read in June, which is The Midnight Library. And The Midnight Library was a book that um, I heard mentioned, some, uh, what, someone on YouTube had mentioned it, that they were reading it, I believe. And it was always in the back of my mind. But as I was researching, um, well, searching actually, uh, books to read, um, that popped up. And I love books about libraries and about bookstores and books about books. So um, I added it to my um, TBR and um, I, I just thought I just would read just a little snippet because I was reading another book. And in the end, it turned out I kind of put that book on the back burner and I just went all into the Midnight Library until I finished it. I enjoyed it that much. So we have some hard topics in this book as well depression, grief, suicide, mental illness. Um, our main character is going through a lot right now in her life and things seem not to be going the way she had envisioned or she doesn't, she feels like her, her, her life's a wreck at the moment and she's dealt a, a devastating blow and it affects her in the way, in a, in a very destructive way. So she ends up in the Midnight Library, and it is also a realm in between life and death. And she is reunited with her librarian, Mrs. Elm. And Mrs. Elm is going to be her uh, director through this library. She's going to be her facilitator and giving her information about the library and what is happening and uh, what can happen as she goes through these um, books in this library because they are special books and you will learn about that when you read the book and I'm trying not to give too many um, too much information away so that it doesn't spoil it for anyone who uh, is planning to read this book by Matt Haig I believe his name is um, it was a very interesting book I really enjoyed it like I said I couldn't put it down and I did uh, request another book by this author um, from my library, um, and but I'm on a waiting list. So I'm not sure when I'm going to get it, but I am very interested in reading it. I forgot the title, but I will put it down in the description box if you are interested in um, looking up that title as well. So if these hard topics are triggers for you, 
um, this might not be the book for you. Um, for some reason, uh, I noticed that a lot of the books that I've been reading lately have had to do with some hard issues. Um, and uh, I don't know <laughs> if it's a trend or, um, but I've been able to get through them. Uh, like I said, uh, the I'll Be the One was, I felt uplift, uplifting and I really enjoyed reading it. I would say that the Midnight Library does deal with the topic uh, of the grief and the depression a little different. Um, obviously, the styles between authors are going to be different. So I would say it's a little heavier of um, feeling of these uh, topics. So I just wanted to put that out there in case people have triggers that, you know, might not feel comfortable reading these books. And so that is going to be it from all I've read this month. I am currently still, still reading The Vanished Pride by um, Bella Ellis. And I am enjoying that book. Um, for you, uh, for all of you who have not heard of The Vanished Pride, it is uh, a historical fiction. So in The Vanished Pride, a woman has gone missing. And her room has been discovered by the governess. And this governess happens to be friends with Charlotte Bronte. In this book, uh, the author has incorporated the Bronte family. So we have the three Bronte sisters and their brother. And um, they are talking about this uh, mystery that has occurred near them. Charlotte Bronte decides that she's going to visit her friend who is kind of wrapped up in this mystery because a woman is missing and believed to be dead or, or at least harmed by the way that they have discovered her room. And she decides that, Charlotte decides that she wants to go and see her friend, see how she's doing. And the sisters um, decide to go as well um, together and to see if their friend's okay and basically see if they can find out what is going on. Um, they are interested in this story and very concerned about their friend. So I really enjoy um, books about books. I was happy to hear that the Brontes were included in part of this book. I'm really excited to finish this book. I am reading it in two forms. I'm reading it and listening to it and I enjoy both methods. I like to do that from time to time because it just works for me. Um, but uh, I recommend both both forms of read, reading it or listening to an audio. Um, they're both good. Um, and at the moment, I wanted to discuss Jane Austen July. So if you weren't aware, there is a readathon going on. Jane Austen July is being hosted by Katie from Books, Books and Things and Claudia from the Spencer's Library, as well as Maris, Marissa from Pleasantly Bookish. And um, I heard about this from Katie from Books and Things, and um, I was very excited to hear about this. Um, so I am participating as much as I can this month. There is a bingo card. I will put it up there if anyone's interested. Um, and there are some, uh, I forget what they're called. Um, not rules. Uh, um, what are they called? Challenges. So um, there are seven challenges as long, along with the um, bingo card. So I will put that up here. I will definitely put the video that I found um, this information on. And um, there are two read-alongs. I believe Persuasion and Mansfield Park are going to be the books for the read-alongs. And I think they're starting with Mansfield Park at the beginning of the month and Persuasion towards the end. Um, but I think you will hear that in the video that I will put somewhere in my video. But I thank you for getting to this point in my video. If you had, if you did stick around, I appreciate you watching my video and I hope you enjoyed it and will consider returning again for more content such as this. But until next time, take care. God bless.
see you soon bye